Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Time for another Palace Daily. Before I get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for the great comments and the great engagement we got on the last video. There's some really good points put across in that and some obviously the comments talking about Zahara and everyone's thoughts and James McCarthy got through quite a lot in the last episode, which was good and some really great comments coming back. So thank you so much for that and the support. Getting into this video, more on transfers, some two big stories I'll be talking about. Firstly, some potential incoming at Palace, which is great because we're talking about loads of outgoing players. This could be one coming into the club and it's one we, I think, I'm very happy about, much happier about than James McCarthy. Uh, that's for sure. Um, Monaco fullback, uh, Jibril Sidebe. Um, pronunciation, you've got to... Got to excuse my pronunciation. I'll probably pronounce him multiple, multiple different ways during this video. But um, yeah, Sidebe, Sidibe, Sidebe, you know, however you want to pronounce him. The fullback for Monaco is being strongly linked to Palace. Um, French football have reported that he's um, very much interested in the move and that Palace are very much interested in him as an attacking replacement to wan at fullback, at right back. Um, also, they've reported in their, in their piece that, you know, it will be very much uh, greatly uh, anticipated at Sellers Park, that kind of fallback, um, and that the people around, like the board, the people around at the top of the club, um, are very interested in him. And um, initially, my thoughts when I heard this was that's great news. I think that first and foremost, yes, he's probably getting uh, towards like the, the peak of his career at the moment. And um, I would have loved to have focused our attentions on maybe a younger fullback around Wan Bissaka's age, who's a bit more experienced, maybe in in terms of European football, um, but with like a high ceiling. Um, but to be honest, this is a fantastic, fantastic replacement Wan Bissaka. Um, I kind of just chucked that out the window there. Um, Obviously, won the World Cup of France last summer. Didn't start for France. Pavard was the starting fullback, but he was part of that squad and he got the call up. He is a World Cup winner. He has that down on his CV. Um, also, he played in the Champions League with Monaco. Monaco didn't have the best of seasons last year, which is probably why the reported fee that would probably take him away from Monaco is around £15 million. And I was quite surprised it was that small, um, the figure. It'll probably be 15 to 20 mil re realistically. Um, but I think that was off the back of the poor season Monaco had last year, kind of scraping survival and just really disappointing. Um, but he's a very experienced European fullback. Um, as I said before, attacking, so slightly different to Wan Bissaka. And I think ha adding that support in the attacks down that right hand side for Palace next season would be fantastic to have. Um, a bit more quality and experience. He'll be obviously, average age of the squad is quite high and he will add to that. But I generally think his experience would be crucial for us next season in terms of the defence as well. What we've lost defensively Juan Bissaka, I'm hoping that his experience and his, you know, quality will help, uh, you know, bring back that stability in defence that we may have lost with a couple of injuries at centre back and Juan Bissaka going. So I for one am very, very happy that we're linked with him and I really do think we should go ahead with this. I'd be very happy if we get this signing over the line. Obviously comment your thoughts down below how you feel about him. Uh, I've seen quite a bit of him in the past as well, so I was aware of the player. So it's obviously a fairly big name player as well in France. Um quite quite rec quite well recognised obviously because of the World Cup. So I think that'd be good for the, you know, obviously you've got the marketing reasons and things like that. But as a player to replace wan I think he's a good target for the price, especially. I definitely think we should go for him. Comment your thoughts down below. Um, also, wanted to mention um, Wilfred Zaha. Obviously, I've talked about him a lot and it's kind of annoying that you have to talk about it this much over pretty much nothing. With it. The, You know, Sky Sports especially are reporting literally nothing right now. Just trying to get the traffic and, you know, the views up on their you know, Twitter page and things like that, which is quite annoying. But um, new bid came in from Arsenal. Happy to say it was instantly rejected by Palace and I can see why from our point of view. Um, the bid was £65 million for Zaha, 55 mil up front, 10 mil in additional clauses. Um, plus they were willing to give Reese Nelson on loan for a season as like a short-term replacement for Zaha. Um, I'm happy with the Reese Nelson like link. That's I'm happy with that, but the price is just nowhere near good enough. 40 mil there was their first offer, of course. They've added 15 mil to that. Um, clauses, I'm going to say them getting into the Champions League, things like that. Him scoring 10 goals maybe in a season, that would get the next the rest of the money. But initially, you're looking at 55 mil plus Reese Nelson on loan. That's what you've got to look at at face value. The 10 mil is obviously additional clauses. So. It's just nowhere near. We we we're not budging at eighty mil, and that's why I'm so happy the the board literally within forty eight hours just rejected it. Uh, they didn't really even consider it. Um, we're looking at around eighty mil, and Arsenal fans still, 
like on Twitter, like getting very restless with it and criticizing Palace for what they're doing, saying, you know, you all know, you're all aware of it, you've all seen it, but saying things uh, along the lines of, you know, why would you do this to him? He wants to move, he, he is clear, he wants to move, he wants to move, um, you don't want an unhappy player on our hands. They're, you still don't get it. That's the point I'm trying to get across. He's on four years left of a five year deal. We're well within our rights as a club to set the price at 80 mil and say, unless you're paying that, he's going nowhere. He's our best ever player. We're not going to budge on the price. He's very, very, very important to us. Guarantees our survival each season, which is something Arsenal don't need to worry about. They're obviously in a different league to us. Don't understand the sort of pressure that we'd be under as a club to stay up each season. And Zaha guarantees that. Now, for those of Arsenal fans that say, yeah, but Hart, he wants to leave, he wants to leave, we do not know that he wants to leave. All we've heard is his brother come out and say something, which could just be what his brother wants, for all, for all we know. Or it could be what Zaha wants, to be fair. It could be in the long term, or in the, you know, for, for his long-term uh, focus or in his career ambitions, he wants to play at Champions League level. Obviously, Arsenal Europa League, so that's one reason he wouldn't pick up Arsenal to go to right now. Um, but... It's clear Zaha wants to play at a top European level, and that's what his brother mentioned. Now, I don't think necessarily, and to say that he's an Arsenal fan, there's pictures of him with, as a kid with a Spurs shirt on. You know, there's a lot of Arsenal fans and channels saying directly, he wants to leave. We know he wants to leave. It's all about getting it over the line now. It's, I generally don't think it's that far along. I'd be very, very shocked if it is that far along, um, because Zaha still has not put in a transfer request to Palace. Roy said that just last week. And until a transfer request is put in, I can't see any development on this. And I think we will keep him this summer. As for him being unhappy, throwing his toys out the pram, I honestly don't think Wilf is that kind of player. He absolutely loves Palace, has been with the academy since a young age. Whether he supports us or not, he lives literally five minutes. He lived as a kid five minutes from the ground. He, it's his local club. He loves the fans, loves the club. Highest paid player at the club, so money's not an issue on his contract. Um, Obviously went to United and had that dream move as well and knew how that went as a younger kid. Um, so in all honesty, I don't think he's... And we obviously we brought him back from Man United in the end. And in, a, in a sense, we kind of revived his career because it was going downhill at that point. We gave him, we brought him back somewhere where he loved and appreciated and he rebuilt his career. Credit to him and credit to Palace for doing the move. So for him to then just throw his toys out the pram and not put the effort in if he does stay for another season... Um, it just I, I just can't see Zaha doing that. I can't see Wilf doing that at all. Um, comment your thoughts down below, guys. We're really interested to know what you think. I personally think that Wilf is, will stay for another season. I can't see anyone... It's only Arsenal really linked with him strongly. I, and Arsenal, I don't think, can afford him. Unless Zaha comes out with a transfer request, I can't see any progress on this. So it is going to be down to the down to the final whistle. Um, apologies for the cliche there and the pun, but it will go down to the final whistle uh, on deadline day, I think. But the closer it gets to deadline day, the more it comes into our favour, you know, the, the better it is for us because the closer it gets to deadline day, the, the less likely it is we'll be able to replace him with a quality replacement and I think we'll keep him. So obviously, guys, comment your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching and all your support across the videos. I will be continuing to upload as regularly as possible. More transfer news on the way, hopefully. Some more incomings, crucially. And yeah, um, thank you guys again for your support. Really, really appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe, guys. I'll see you next time.